Okay, let's take a look at the graphic display screen of the 300 ventilator. And right now we are in the graphics mode. And down at the bottom you have information. You have uh, numeric information, you have curve menu, you have patient data, trends, also uh, info and uh, system data. Typically in use, you probably will have this in the, trend, the curve menu so that you can see your flow volume loops and also your pressure time. And you notice we have several different loops. Now we have a control knob here and so let's go into this and we can make some changes. Let's see here. Okay. Now, okay, we're going to go into the curve menu here, press the button in, and then let's change the, the parameters, okay? So now we can change this curve if we want. We'll click on it, and then we can change it flow pressure. We can change it to uh, flow volume or volume pressure. And so let's make this one volume pressure. We'll leave this one flow volume loops. And we'll go down here now and change that to the uh, pressure volume. And then over here we have pressure time. So now we have four different loops. Okay, let's exit the change. And we'll take a look. Okay, this one is nicely shaped with, so that you can see the whole one, whole loop. Here we can see the whole loop. Here we can see the waveform's pretty good, but this flow volume is pretty big. So let's change the scale. We're going to rotate the knob over to change scale. And we're going to rotate it until we get here. Now the top of the loop wasn't the problem. It was the length of the loop. So we'll click, move it to here, click on it, and increase it. Let's go to 1,000, one liter. And, and we'll exit the change. Now we can see the entire loop because we're delivering the patient 700 and this is 700 across and this is one liter all the way and our flow is within this range liters per second the uh, we're giving the patient uh, 0.9 no 0.75 liters per second so it fits within the range that we have here okay so we then look at these loops and we can tell whether or not the patient is over distending. We can look at the flow and the volume and identify any problems that are occurring with the patient. In this column here we have digital data that is easily read peak pressure, mean pressure, PEEP, uh, dynamic uh, compliance, um, we have minute volume, breath frequency, and I to E. Now Let's go back to our main menu. That was the menu curve. Let's take a look at numeric values. And numeric gives us all the information that this machine is set up to deliver. Now there's some that it cannot do because it's not set for that. But this makes it far easier to gather the data off the machine than sometimes looking at the knobs and, and digital readings and let's go on we can change by clicking on we will go back by clicking on numerical values pushing the button in we can change these parameters if we want and add or subtract something move them around if we choose to so we will just go back here and let's exit and back to main menu and let's take a look at trends. Sometimes we want to see what has happened to the patient over time. Trends will give that to us and it will display the length of time this ventilator has been on. Since it's not been on very long, we don't get much trend information. And so if we wanted to uh, uh, change the uh, setup so we can see a little bit more, 
let's change the scale and we'll go down here uh, that's won't allow us to do anything on the time we can change the scale so that we can see things a little bit easier uh, let's go to uh, 30 peak and we'll change the pause pressure and we'll change the peak pressure okay and now it's a little bit easier to see what little information we have we can go back into it if we want and that gives us some information now if we change the parameters and go back to uh, here we can change what what item we're going to look at let's go here and we can change that okay let's change this to volume title volume inspired and we'll change mean to uh, let's see frequency and then we can go back to here and we get different information now we're getting peak title volume and frequency and that gives you some idea of what you can do with this digital display and you also can put in some patient information if you want to have the patient ID etc um, and I think that at this point is enough information to get your basic understanding of the graphic screen on the Siemens 300 ventilator. So we're going to leave it in this waveform and that completes the overview of the Servo 390 display screen.